I will I try to give you an overview of the Italian, from the Italian perspective of the recovery procedure of state ads uh, in Italian. I will focus on the recovery procedure because I was saying, I, I was saying uh, uh, before, because uh, to the Italian structure, the Italian structure of the Italian litigation, uh, tax litigation, we do not have a case of, uh, of a judge uh, that is competent for the legitimacy of a uh, measure granting uh, tax statement. Uh, I give you some ideas of our structures, uh, of our tax litigation structure. We used to think that uh, uh, the tax litigation could arise just to oppose, to appeal an act of the administration. Uh, that, that's the main idea, anyway. Unless you have uh, a, decision, a decision of the revenue, you cannot go to court in Italy. You need, need a decision of the court. You cannot go to the court immediately, directly. You need a decision. Of the administration. Of the administration, of the tax court administration. You need a decision. And that's, and that, and the, that, that is the effect, what's the effect of this structure? Very strong principle, yeah. We have a list in Italy of the decision that could be directly appealed. We have a list, close list, of the decisions of tax administration that could be appealed. Assessment, uh, collect, co uh, compulsory collection, act of compulsory collection, and so on. We have a close list of this. Due to this structure, uh, we have no experience in Italy of direct access, but we cannot have experience of direct access to a tax charge asking him to declare unlawful a measure that grants an aid to someone else. We cannot have it. Legal, we cannot have. It is impossible. That's why I, I was saying before the, the position of the Netherlands uh, jurisdiction, the general Netherlands courts is interesting from this point of view because uh, it could be that, uh, as far as I know, there, there is no legal scholar that proposes this, but uh, a civil action could be uh, initiated to. to for a competitor in order to have a declaration from a judge, from a civil judge, of measure granting state aid to a competitor, to other competitor. But by now, in Italy, we do not have, did, didn't have this, uh, this kind of uh, measure. So, the Italian judge, as norm, deal with the Italian tax charge, um, as norm, deal with the recovery act, decision of recovery when the unlawfully of uh, lawfulness of the measure, national measure, is clear. Is the, is, it has been set by EC decision. And there is a decision to recovery. That's, that's the main frame. That's why I focus on the recovery procedure, because we do not have any experience of declaration of unlawfulness of a single measure in Italy, of state act, of fiscal state act. At least I refer to the tax state end, not the general state end, of course. As more, well, that's the general rule, all we know about that. I just, as like I said before, that, that's the main frame. As general rule, the state has the duty to recover the state debts, where the European Commission issues a recovery decision. That's it is, for, it is up to the European Commission to issue a recovery decision. It is up to the state to recover, to enforce this decision and to recover. What would happen if the state is not doing that? Would the state doing that in Italy? Yeah, if the Italian state doesn't recover. Yeah, there is a... <laughs> infringement procedure. Yeah, there is an infringement procedure. Is it a possibility now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is an infringement procedure started by the European Commission against the state. So as a co competitor, I have to write a letter to the Commission and blame the state, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The competitor would be, would be after, after the European uh, decision, yes, you're right. Because yeah, the competitor would say, the state yeah. is not recovering the, the amount, yeah. Yes, yeah, well, it's quite the same Yeah. Yeah, and uh, in this case, uh, in this case, the uh, civil judge will be 
content because uh, the lack of recovery could be suited as uh, damage. I, I, I have damage to suit the recovery program from my yeah, child's Yeah, it's a kind of yeah. Afghan with extra, not contractual uh, damages, but uh, um, extra contractual damages. Single. Yeah, serial damages. Yeah, okay. The procedures of recovery of state aid, as like said for me, much better than me, depends on the national law and yes, to comply with European law and principle. Two principle, principle, principle of effectiveness and equality. Equivalence. E We're not about that. I would like to give you our position in uh, in Italy before 2012. Before 2012, there was not a clear process for the recovery of the state debt in Italy. We didn't have a clear process. We didn't know how to recover. We just know, we just knew the state had the duty to recover. But there was no procedure to recover this amount. And so, from time to time, state, the, our legislature, our parliament, to comply with EC decisions to recovery, passed a specific law, with specific measure, with reference to specific decisions, and with reference with specific internal measure granting unlawful and compatible state act. So we have the law for recovery of uh, state aid granting to siderurgical sector. The state, the state for the law for the recovery of the law in uh, granting to the public owned company. Each decision we tend to introduce a law, an, an act, a state. State that will contain that contain to the Process rules of the recovery. That, that's the main situation in it. And that was uh, like, uh, to some extent, uh, in line speech, uh, merged this aspect. That was because, uh, that was, to, in my opinion, to some bias, of, uh, cultural bias of Italian legal tradition. We used to consider in administrative law that the law, that the administration cannot take a decision without a law. Without the law, you cannot recover. The power to recover, to recover is an administrative power. And you cannot exercise this administrative power without a law. Without a law that authorizes to a certain extent you. In no, with, with law, you mean only written law? Written law. Yeah. Written law. Written, yeah. written, yeah. written Italian law. Written yeah. Italian law. Yeah. Written yeah. Italian law. Yeah. Written Italian law. Yeah. Written Italian law. Yeah. Written Italian law. Yeah. That's the... In accordance to European rules, it yeah. says that there's a hierarchy yeah. of, the, of, the, <coughs> of law, yeah. and that European decisions and is at a higher level than yeah, yeah, that, you, yeah, yeah, then, no. yeah, you're right. You, that, then, in fact, that's to the, due to the lack of uh, European sensitiveness that we still apply this, still, still apply to this, uh, this cause. Well, we have to consider we are, we have a civil law countries very, with very deep tra legal tradition rooted in Roman law and. Uh, and the administrative law, the imported administrative law, partly from France, partly from Germany. But uh, this rule of law principle, the administration cannot act uh, beyond the power conferred by the law. And to act, it needs a law, the administration needs a law to act, uh, is uh, up to now very well uh, affirmed by the Italian scholars. It is not so strange. But it, is, it, will be, it should be corrected 
by uh, considering the law, European law, also European law and European decisions. Yeah, the administration cannot act unless there is a law, law that should be intended as also European law. That, that, that's, that, that's correct. But due to, due to the rule of law, due to, to the, the presence of this deep-rooted principle in our tradition, we, uh, for a long time, we, we tend to um, act as I described here. Each state has to be recovered as a single state to the recovery of that state. And that also occurs, uh, that was very much the case in uh, tax state act. Because, uh, to a certain point of view, the tax state act is not granted by the administration. The tax state head is granted by the law. So, to recover a tax state head, to recover tax, you need a law that allows you to do that. Because it is not, it is not that the administration, local administration, the administrative act that's granting an head, but it's law the general law that grants an act. And so to recover the act, to recover this act, we used to think in Italy that we need a law. We need a specific law that allow the law to tax to a certain extent what has been exempted before. That's that's the rationale behind. I don't wanna give you I just wanna give you the details of single specific uh, comma uh, of our rules. They are very complex, but I want to give you the rational behind our system and how it works to a general sense, to gen the general frame. But I think it, is, it could be useful for you, not the, the single uh, specific, uh, specific output. <coughs> okay. In the lack of general statements, some principles some ideas emerged in the Italian tradition. The first main idea is who is in, who is in charge to recover the aid? The first idea is the authority that granted the aid was still in charge to recover it by issuing an order of payment. The rational behind is the same authority that has the power to grant has the power to recall. The grant VA has the power to recall. It works, but it works for a for state aid granted by administrative authority. When the authority for tax for taxes tax ads, when it is not the authority that grants the aid, but the law that grants the law aid, it, that it didn't work. Yes. So the other general rule, uh, the other general rule that we applied in Italy is was the civil code rules were deemed applicable. In lack of specific procedures, we deemed applicable the general civil code rules, but with major exception. Interest calculation, time limitation. As I said, as I said, as I said before, we have a general rule that uh, forbids the general principle according to which uh, anatocism, the compound interest, is forbidden. It's uh, a legacy from the Roman law. The interest on the interest is forbidden in Italy as normal. We cannot consider the interest uh, on, on the interest of that for interest, but uh, for civil obligation. But for state law, state that we we consider that the compound interest, the compound method to, uh, to compute the interest was applicable in lack of specific consequences. So the time limitation we consider five years, but the general code, the general civil code. It's not clear in this. Uh, for general, in general, for the time limitation is 10 years as well. 10 years to be for. Major exceptions for the. In, in major exception, in order to 
and formally comply with the European rule to give you uh, this rationale. But the, the legal frame was the civil code. It was a civil, co uh, civil obligation, civil debt, with major exception to comply, to try to comply with the European uh, law. That, that, was very, that was the legal, the legal frame. Third, third main rule that we applied, the collection was made according to a procedure set forth for the grading of the public bonds. We have, we, we had and we have in Italy a specific proce procedure to collect, to enforce the credit of public bodies that is used for taxes and we used this for recovery of state debt. Tax state debt and also the other state debt, not just tax state debt. We used to this in the lack of uh, general rules. Okay, that's the, the main principle we used to, to apply before 2012 to the recovery of uh, the state debt. Of course, it is clear that, uh, as I said before, above all for tax state debt, we used to pass a law to the recovery of debt of the specific tax state debt. And this law contained also some information, some details on the procedure to follow, to recover. I do not understand the case that the law does not pass Parliament, the law of which you say that, that it is necessary to enforce the yeah. recovery because yeah. when such a law should not pass yeah. Parliament, then it is state aid as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's why that's why we we forced by the European Commission to introduce oh, general procedures, yeah, yeah. yeah, not specific okay, on a case by case state or case by case uh, approach. Uh, that was a point. That was a point from the Italian point of view. But uh, the problem uh, that we I think uh, I didn't I did not write it down, but uh, I think uh, we didn't pass it away also because. Uh, the state had as the sum to be recovered as had and has very different nature. And so we are a, a little bit reluctant to recognize a general recovery process for some that has different for some that could be as different nature. That's why the general procedure in Italy causes much more issues than, uh, than, than we can than, than we think. Now we will see yeah, we'll see this. Okay. In 2012 the Parliament passed the law reorganizing introducing reorganizing the law, the recovery procedure and introducing uh, one main uh, general recovery procedure for each every state act, the recovery of every state act. I, mm, it is important to say that this, uh, this law it is not is not meant to settle this problem. It was a general law, the general it was the financial act for 2013. But due to the pressure of the European Commission, we passed this reform, this important reform, in this moment. But this law, this, this law is the financial act of Italy. And you look, you look the, the days, the eve of the year of Christmas, when it has been passed. Because uh, uh, we passed with this. But uh, very big financial act, and in, the, in this act there are three, four articles that deal with this problem and settle a general recovery process. <laughs> of course, uh, the law cannot be discussed in deep, so the best solution that the Italian Parliament found 
consider that we have to comply with European law, just make reference to European law. And so the first passage of the law is, for the recovery of state ads, European law should be followed. That is obvious, <laughs> not obvious, but for us, that, of course, the reference is domestic. We all know the supremacy of the law, particularly in the field of competition law. We all know about that. But in lack of well, lots of time to draft the law, introduce some principle, the shortest way, the way, the way to comply with European law is to affirm the law procedure should comply with the European law, all European law. That's the main statement of the, that's the meaning of the, of the Article 48. European Commission uh, fights that okay. So what? European Commission fights that okay. Yeah, it's okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah, it's good. We all agree about that. We all agree. If you provide a copy of the process, European law should be formed. We all agree about that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Perhaps, perhaps the reference is a legacy of the rule of law in administrative law, as I said. I just need the law to authorize the administration. In this case, the authorization was very broad. I authorize you to follow the European rule to recover the amount to be recovered as a law for the That's why. I tend, I tend to believe that this, the rule of law, is uh, the rationale that uh, stemmed out uh, the Italian from uh, re recovery, the proper recovery, the uh, amount. Anyhow, I would go straight. I just give you, this is the translation, free translation I did from the Paragraph 2 of the Article 48 of the Recovery Procedures. This, proper, this article. Don't have this in the middle. There's not a this in the sorry. Uh, authority in charge of the recovery decision. That, what we, what, which is the authority in charge? I highlighted the minister responsible for the matter. Identifies or necessitates the persons required to pay the ad to be recorded, establishes the amounts due, and determines the terms and conditions of payments. It's a short period, two months. Two months. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the decree of the competent minister shall be enforceable against this, those responsible. It could seem clear the minister in charge of the matter. It's ministerial decree that, that, that is the decision, the internal decision to recover. It is not clear at all. And I will explain, I'd like to explain, to explain why. A all in tax matters, as you can imagine by now. The finance minister? The finance minister? The finance minister, but the we are, remember, you are in Italy, and Italy, it is a very complex Are you the special minister of taxation? Yeah, yeah, yes, we have, yes, we have. But uh, the Minister of Finance and, uh, and Economy, the Ministry of Economy and Finance, is not in charge to tax the, a single taxpayer. Oh. Okay, but which minister is in charge of the application of the tax law? Not a minister, but uh, an agency. The and 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 the agency is under the minister is responsible for the. The agency is, is the minister of finance. No, 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 no. It, yeah, it is the minister of finance. Yeah, for tax law, for tax. But we have also taxation that is and for, uh, set forth by national law but collected by local authorities. Yeah. That's for national national taxes. If it is okay, you write yeah. if it is. But for local, it is not easy at all. Yeah. Anyhow, this article is quite clear. The minister 
the minister that is responsible for the matter. And then this decree should contain the three elements, that is the person, the one to convey, the beneficiary. Second, the, the amount due, interest included. And third, the terms and condition of payments. Remember, always according to the European Yes. So, yeah. yep. uh, the, uh, the decision uh, in the process, is it, uh, do you have a uh, hearing of the person who uh, would have to repay of his lawyers, of, his, uh, of, of just the administration? That's a point. Things? That's a point. Is it, uh, uh, in the general state, Ed, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. In uh, tax stated, it could be, because mm -hmm. we are trying to introduce the right to be heard mm -hmm. in tax matter, in tax proceedings. Mm -hmm. So, according to the tax law, according to the general proceeding tax law, mm -hmm. we are keen to introduce the right to be heard of taxpayer. Mm -hmm. So, the first, uh, first contact between the taxpayer or the, the beneficiary that should Pay, repay the, the amount is an element of the legality of the procedures. I think so. I think so. I'm not sure. I have no case law on that. On that uh, there is no precise. Uh, there is no precise. There is no precise regulation. But I think so in that state. As it is, a minister I love an I love an act. Yeah, yeah. So that means. Administrative courts can have uh, a look to, to, to look at it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And, and that, that's why that, that's the solution. That's the solution. Uh, I, I, I don't want to anticipate, uh, but that's the solution. Uh, that's the solution forward by the law. But it's a very strange solution, and uh, <coughs> some scholars doubt, uh, doubt about the constitutionality of this solution. But. Uh, we we arrive, we arrive uh, to this uh, to this point. Uh, that, that's a point. In any case, that's a, that's a point. In practical terms, that's the reason why I'm mentioning that uh, two months is very short. If you have to analyze the case, to do yeah. make calculation, to it's very, it's make very calculation short. To the it's very short. Above all, for tax state debt, it's very very short. Longer uh, than state. Time. State and there is the case because there's there's a history. Of yes, the yes, we know, but. Uh, mm, in tax, above all for uh, tax state debts that are granted by the law, there are lots of taxpayers that benefited from uh, of this. And so, lots of persons in Italy from practical view are doubtful about this. And being honest, uh, knowing the bureaucracy, the canalizing of this, uh, I think it is not easy to stay with that line of two months. I think I think so, but just of, of course from practical point of view. And what happens if he can't or she can't adopt it in two months? Yeah. Is it then illegal? Yeah. Right. Sorry, yeah. we're back to the I don't know. You know, I want to gain my answer. Not once again, I have to I have to answer you. I don't know, but uh, I can give you my opinion. That there is no case law. Uh, I can give you my opinion uh, from the our legal tradition. The problem is this term, this deadline, is strict, or it is just uh, sort of suggestions, uh, indicative uh, yeah. way. In Italy, in Italian means to what? Rather, a rule of order. And, okay. And, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. But to a literal point of view, to a literal point of view, it is an illegal decree of the of recovery. Yeah. If uh, the because if you, if you think in European legal terms, uh, in principle, the Commission should adopt a decision on recovery also within yeah. a reasonable time. Re a reasonable time. Reasonable time. Not strict time. Not strict, but the courts have held, the European Court has held that where the Commission has taken an unreasonable length of time, 
it's, it becomes illegal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it did, it did, it did. you have infringed the principle yeah, yeah. of being and certain. I, yeah, that's why so in one, one case it's happened. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, came came to, yeah. I came to think that uh, according, uh, if I, I give you my opinion, uh, and the Italian judge could uh, interpret this term as a strict term, but it should uh, consider it in light of the complexity of the entire, the entire proceedings. And so, as known for easy for easy procedure, this uh, this term should be followed. It should be respected. In case of not so easy procedure to be analyzed and to be organized and be recovery, I think that this could be a lot. This term could be enlarged. Yeah. yeah. So, so that was that. Why I, <laughs> it's not clear at all. It seems to be clear, but it's not clear because. Uh, Every other public authority is different from the state. And so we need paragraph 3 in our article. In cases where the common authority is different from the state, the measure referred to in paragraph 2 shall be taken by a region autonomous province or common local authority. The activities referred to in paragraph 1 shall be carried out by the concessionaire in order to collect the revenue of the local authority concerned. So, it is for the local authority, not for the ministry, to recover. Um, I just remind you that we, in Italy, are a republic with a regional form of state. Each, we have regions in Italy, and each region has a normative power to a certain extent. The regional law in Italy is law, like state law. Of course, I refer to uh, the competence. There are some matters, some field in which there is competence of uh, concurrent competence of the region and state. And in this matter, in this field, there could be aid granted by the law. Above all, for we are we are talking about uh, special region. We have some special region. Yeah, some but regions are more open known than others. Much more, yeah. they, and their status is approved no, with the are equal, but some are equal, but more equal than the other. Yeah. 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 And since yeah. it is a Dina, the Dinotage, Valle d'Aosta, and Fiori, yeah. these regions are much more than autonomous. Yeah. So they get this, so lots of, lots of yeah. the regional ads the border, are granted by the regions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, much more of the regional aids are granted by this. Yeah. This, much more. Third, <coughs> paragraph one. <coughs> Equitalia SPI, SPI means Inc. Corporation shall collect the amounts US due as a result of the recovery decision referred to in Article 4 of the Regulation of Council 6659 1999. <coughs> Adopted after the date of entry into force of this law. Irrespective, irrespective of the form of the aid and of the person who granted it. Where is Epidalia? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Epidalia is a uh, um, public owned company owned by the Italian revenue, but separated company, in charge to collect and force the public debt, the public credit and debt. But there is a problem. <laughs> Up to now, it doesn't exist. Equitalia does no longer exist. They still have shares. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be bankrupt. Yeah. Come down. Come down. If it doesn't exist, it has been incorporated. 
it seems a joke, but it is true. Yes. It has been incorporated in the NAND to make that a revenue actions. That's in some issues. I go straight into these issues. As no Medicare collecting sums according to the stage of collection, possibly enforced that the tax related sum. Shall we consider that the reference to Equitalia is important from the Italian point of view because uh, it is a reference not just to Equitalia, to a company, but it is a reference to a set of rules of procedure. That is the set of rules for enforce the tax credit of the rent. We have civil enforcement of civil credit enforcement and tax credit enforcement. And the reference made in law by Epitalia is to Epitalia is important from the Italian point of view because it is a clear reference to this set of rules to recover the state debt. We apply the rule we use to apply for recovering of tax claim, irrespective of the nature of the sum. Also for contract or for guarantees to be recovered, we use the set of rules we have for the collection of tax revenue, to the enforce of the collection of tax revenue. That's very important from the Italian point of view. I go. So I now I try to give you an overall frame of the workflow of the power of the process of your recovery for the recovery of state aid. European Commission recovery decision function to fulfill the duty to recover of the ads. National Minister decree or local authority decree ascertain the beneficiary demand and the way to collect the sum. So, excuse me, we don't need any more, uh, any, any new law to, to no, you record. No, I mean, the internal law, not EU, EU law. No, 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 internal law. We don't need any more after new decision, uh, we have only means to agree. Not the decree. Not the decree. Yeah, not the law. Not, not, not that's the law. That's the law. Yeah, general law is the law, but we just need a uh, decree. Okay. And this is the fact. Yeah, Equitalis PA no longer exists, Italian revenue now, up to now, acts of collection. Collect, possibly enforce the sum from the debt. That's the main workflow of the recovery of the Italian procedures. As I advance the, the problems, I go to the I go to the I go to the um, the law set for the competent judge for the litigation on the recovery process. Competence for litigation of the cause of the on the recovery act is act I mean decision, not act legal normative act. It's attributed to the administrative judge, tribunali amministrativi regionali, consiglio di stato. It is an exclusive competence, irrespective of the nature of the state that <coughs> providential, beneficial, tax exemption, guarantees of the free, contract disproportionate, irrespective of the nature. The sum to be recovered, the litigation of the sum to be recovered is attributed to the administrative judge. Each kind of state aid recovery included that of providential state aids. That's a point. That's a point because up to up to twelve up to two thousand twelve we strongly believed that the judge comped for the recovery is the charge according to the nature of the sum to be recovered. For recovery of the tax exemption, we used to think that the tax charge was comfortable. To recovery of the providential, 
relief legal, for example, who is to deem that the civil providential specialized judge. Now, the law reshuffled the movement and attributed it to one set, one judge, the administrative judge. There is a rationale behind it. The rationale is this. The, the National Act that starts the old procedures is an, a high-level ministry, high-level administrative act. So the judge that should be valet, that should evaluate this act, is an administrator. Should be an administrator. Like, please. Supp suppose the minister doesn't adopt yeah. the decree uh, at all. Yeah. So there is a clear decision from the commission, but for some reason yeah. the minister does nothing. Is it still possible in Italian law for a competitor to go to the civil court and argue on the basis that Article 108 yeah. has direct effect that uh, mm. should be for for tax case law for tax case in tax case no it it could be it it, it, it would be a very good solution but up to now no the answer is no up to now it's been tried and forbidden or we don't know we, we don't know and I I'm keen to think uh, the civil judge will do this mess this because. Yeah. Uh, uh, Civil judge will, will say this is a um, competence of tax judge, and, the com and the, to go to the tax judge, you cannot go directly because you need an, uh, an actor to yes, sue for. for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you can sue the minister because that, that, that's a point. That's a point. In theory, a competitor could sue the minister. We did not experience this up to now, but theory, in theory, that's the solution that. Uh, some score propose, some score propose. Yeah, but the competitor could compile the business to... That's what you mean. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's yeah. what you mean. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, you can. That, that's, the, that's the solution that... Should they, because sort of damage. Yeah. Is it damage? Yeah. Yeah, you're right, you're, you're right. Or at least, if not damage, at least you have the, you as a minister as the duty. And if you cannot exercise your duty, you are acting against me. Yeah, no, that's yes. good for, uh, please, sorry. Uh, you, say, you say that uh, no, it's an uh, exclusive competence of the administrative judge yeah. to assess yeah. the, the decision in terms of competence uh, in tax matters. Now we uh, no. Uh, no, we don't. No, we don't. We do not have uh, administrative judge specialized in uh, tax, matters. tax matters. We have specialized judge, different tax judge. They are in uh, in this room. There are some tax specialized jobs, not administrative jobs. We have different jobs. Other. Uh, what I was wondering, that competence is also stated in the law of the law, the rule that it is... Yeah, yeah, that is yeah, the law, the law is stated, the law is stated, it, it is attributed to the, to the uh, legal... An exclusive law. An exclusive way. And then the, the situation, as my colleagues see that, that you want to assume the minister in order that he that's a point. That's a point. That's a point. I think it is in the exclusive administration. Yes, I think it is also in the exclusive. No, no civil code because uh, it is for the negative exercise, exercise, exercise of power. To not act, uh, to not exercise power. That would be an administrative court anyway. Anyway, yeah. And the way you have to. So if you have to ask for exercise of power, then you have to sue the minister in order to compel it to exercise the power to recover before a judge, of course. That's a straight, but uh, you cannot go immediately. You ask formally the minister to act in recovery to the competitor, 
And then if the minister is silent, you sue the minister again at the administrative court and administrative court order to minister to issue the decree and uh, collect the recover the no, no, it is not confidence. It is not confidence. In the worst case scenario, it, it is does the, the administrative judge has the power to appoint a functioner and give him the power to, to compute the amount and to issue the decree. Yeah. Or temperance. Okay. In, in, but in the worst case scenario, <laughs> <laughs> that How long will take this procedure? How many times? No, not, not, so not, so, not, so, not so much time, because uh, I didn't write to you that uh, the, the, um, the, uh, the administrative judge, uh, the exclusive competence is attributed to the administrative judge, and uh, the law. I didn't write it, but the law stated that, that for, set for um, the application of for a very speedy, speedy procedure. Speedy procedure for this. I didn't write you about it. Uh, I believe. Yeah. So it's like an expedited, <laughs> yeah, yeah. expedited procedure. Okay. Which is the end of the national judicial control? Ah, no. No, 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 no. Okay, remember this, remember this, because lots of persons in Italy, lots of persons in Italy still believe that the national judge could uh, set for the legitimacy of the national nations. But I talk to national judge, Italian national judge, just the legitimacy of the recovery not of the nation. Clear? National judge cannot, national judge cannot control whether or not the mission is compatible or unlawful with the European State Act. The EC, European Commission, is in charge of that. And now the national judge has to control whether the recovery process is in line with European and national law. See also Mendes at case and the other one for the role of national judge to control the computing uh, of uh, the amount, uh, the beneficiaries, and so on. That's very clear from the European point of view, but not so clear from the Italian point of view. Mm -hmm. Always there, always there, at least the judge. They granted a final decision for the payment of an ad and add linked to the siderurgical side. <coughs> In the while of the national litigation, still, 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 and they are involved also in some scandals for environmental pollution and so on. In a way. In a while of the national litigation, BC started investigation of the measure and eventually declared it unlawful. Consequently, BC issued also the recovery decision. This amount should be recovered. So we have a formal contrast. From one side, an order fined by national judge, pressing the government, that ordered the payment of this fund to the Turkey. And on the, the other, other side, a decision by the European Commission ordered the recovery or not pay this sum. That was very important. That, that was very, a, a very, we used to say, frontal contrast. Mm -hmm. okay, the, the ECJ cannot leave the board mm -hmm. to decide on this point. 
Absolute Kimi always the ECJ uh, avoided in us a clear cut decision on this point, on this context. In Lokini cases, Lokini case, the court ECJ stated. Okay, that, that, that's what I said. That I said the national administration issues the recovery order and Lokini appeal. The national judge in charge of the recovery delivered the message to the ECJ. Should recovery decision prevail on the national final decision? Mm -hmm. Granting, as we know, the ECJ after the presence of the European Commission decision. In front of the rest of the ECJ stated, no, I don't care. I don't care about your rest of the and I think this is very important from the Italian point of view, from the Italian legal tradition, it was very revolutionary judgment. Because the meaning of res judicata used to say res judicata, you know, we always see, we all in Italy studied the Roman law, proventate aviat. Res judicata, res, res judicata is the truth. Truth. Yes, the states actually on the lawful ground that is. Yeah, of course. But, yeah, but the problem is we used to say you used to. The determination. The value of. Res judicata. Yes. Yes, it is legal to do. The value of the law. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But you used to say that the certainty that granted by res judicata principle, certainty. When you have, when you have a final decision issued by a judge, yes. that that is the, the legal. Oh, this is this uh, case. Judge has said has to be paid. Has nothing nothing said about possibility to be recovered. <laughs> yes, but the yeah yeah. The, the, so we pay and recover. No, we, yes, but we pay and recover immediately. <laughs> no, 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 it's mindset. No, no, no. Yeah, it could be, but perhaps. Those who would never think that way so strictly that user the cover can be so far so. so yeah, you know, that, that, that situation. And, and, uh, so you pay and recover. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And so you pay and will immediately recover. Uh, that's that's, 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 that's yeah. the idea. Yeah. 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 National law. Yeah. That's so what it was raised due to Carter for national law. Of course. That's because it's not based on, on, on the national law. And the national law is trying to be contrary to the principles of the but the important is, uh, yeah, that, that's going to be a solution. A very a little bit tricky, but it's going to be a solution. But the important thing is, uh, I mean, from the uh, Bokini case, in my, I'll be short, I promise. In my point of view, from my point of view, the, the most important uh, of the uh, Bokini case was that the uh, ECJ justified this solution. No? At least the prevalence, the supremacy of EU law, state that in the competition model, and say that is part of competition model, the national authorities are not competence. Mm -hmm. That's one of the main, what's of the main argument. We cannot accept res judicata in uh, national law when the national law, the national judge, the national authority, the, the member state has no power in competition law. No definite power in competition law. That's the main argument. The Okini case is very important from the Italian point of view because it reduced very much the room for competence for, for national authorities. I remind, what I reminded, it is obvious 
the national judges, the national authorities are not in charge, are not competent to assume, to declare the law of a nation compared to the state act. They are not. They just as to control the recovery process. It's up to the European Commission to investigate and to control. And in Lucchini, that was the main rationale. The court of Finland, why I have to stop in front of national decision if the national authorities has no definitive power in this field, competence law, Com competition law, pardon. And so the Lucchini narrowed, narrowed the rule for national law. So, there is no problems for national law, for national charge in the recovery, <coughs> it depends. It should be considered that uh, in future, the Bologna medicine case, the SEJ stated, no, it is not the truth that the national charge has no role in the state act. And what's the role of national charge in the state act? I, can, I consider that the role of national charge is complementary to the role of the European Commission. What does it mean? Though the main competence on the qualification of the national state act is on the EC, the national charge should act up as to complement the action of the European Commission. I explain. I explain. I better explain. The national judge is competent to control the correctness of the amount to be recovered. The national judge should even co should control the correctness of the identification of the beneficiary of the state act. The national judge should control the lawfully of the entire procedure of, of your cost. Just the cost. But it's, it's not so. But, but, but what you say now is uh, supposed that there is a decision of the European Commission on the recovery. You, uh, what, what you get now is in the context of Article 107. Yeah, of course. But there is also Article 108. Yeah. And in that context of the third uh, part of that article, there may be a situation that there is not yet a decision of the European Commission. In this case, and then in this the case, role of the in this, national church in this, may be different. Yeah. In the measure, to, in the measure. Yeah. In, in this case, yeah. in this case, so the national church could. Assume interim measure yeah. to assure the correct, the correct application of your law. That's clear. Yeah. Child family yeah. law. Then that's clear. But even uh, even where there is a final decision from the European Commission, yeah. there is a law, and this law depends on the content of the European Commission. And my last case is very important case for me. It's a very important case. In this, to this point. Briefly, Italy granted an act to the purchaser of terrestrial decoder. For the purchaser of terrestrial decoder. This measure was deemed as a lawful state act because it granted an advantage in the market of the digital broadcasting casting, to the terrestrial operator compared to the satellite digital broadcasting operator. We had we had two main operators on the broadcasting, one operating on satellite broadcasting and the other one on the rest of the broadcasting. Of course, this ad would be in favor of the rest. The rest terrestrial. Oh, the rest of the the rest of the once again, this is in the what's important from the 
what is important from our point of view is that the EC issued a recovery decision, but in the decision it did not identify the beneficiaries, and above all, did not identify the current amount to be recovered. This A is basically <coughs> assigned to the purchasers of the recovery, but and indirectly favored the operating market operator in the direction of medicine. That's what made it complicated. That was so very, 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 very complicated, very complicated to, to amount, to, to identify the correct amount. Yeah, to who is really the beneficiary? Yeah, who is the really beneficiary? And how much does it, yeah. in terms of uh, compet competition advantage? That was very complex. And uh, we experienced uh, an exchange of letters, from informal letters, from the Italian government and the European Commission that agreed and fine in, in the end, eventually agreed on the method of computing, but was very complex and economic, from an economic point of view, following economic studies, very complex way method to, to compute the advantage of, the, of single. Because you had to construct a counterfactual as yeah. if there had been no box. Yeah. No, it was the same. That's the position of Italy. Italy assumed that in prices in the rest of the broadcasting market was the benefit to the recover, to be recovered. Italy and ECE agreed on a method to compute the amount of recover to an exchange of informal methods. Mediaset, the major uh, company in broadcasting television owned by Mr. Silvio Berlusconi, our former Prime Minister. That was very important from the legal point of view. This is just saying that in this case, whether they see a corporate decision that does not contain a beneficiary, it's for the national judge to identify the beneficiary and compute or control the computing uh, by the national administration, compute the proper amount to be a corporate. It is not so clear, but, but in the end, that's the yeah. end. The rule is, this J as the main company, but the national judge have to, com have to complete and complement the work of the Indian Commission. That's my opinion. I think it seems to me an easy way to give you a phrase from the Italian perspective.